All right, friends, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. We are gonna keep on keeping on with where we left off, and we're what, about three hours into this game, and we're still kind of in the intro. The game's still kind of teaching us all the ins and outs, which is kind of crazy thinking, you know, it's like some games will last like two, three hours in a, of itself, but this game is just uh, such a beast of a game that uh, it's gonna take a while for us to kind of um, really open up into the meat of the game. So uh, we might as well just keep going from where we left off, which I think we just have to take a nap first. Oh. Uh, that thingy on your phone with some red eyeball icon, right? Right. We ended up at that weird place when we used this nav app, right? I found it on my phone too. I don't even remember installing it. Uh, that's creepy. For real. What is this thing? I think it's being downloaded on its own somehow? It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is. But with it, we can go to that weird place, right? Seems like it. Basically, it's gonna depend on how we use it. But first, we gotta find evidence for the re for the beatings. I'm counting on you, all right? Don't go ditching school on me. <laughs> all right, I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of the metaverse. Sleep. Now, are we going to go back to this uh, prison? It looks like it. You can usually tell when uh, he starts zooming in on his face. Yep. Chains! Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. Okay. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Uh, don't be stupid. Some of these responses are amazing. I just don't know who would pick ah, some. Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. Yeah. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. That's why we have Ryuji. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Ryuji! You mean right? <laughs> Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. Thank you. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. Hey. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Confidants. Uh, confidants are people you trust who share a similar goal. You can find these people in places like school or around town. Try forming bonds with people by visiting them multiple times, earning their trust and proving your value. Once you have formed a bond, you can open the menu with Triangle and select Confidant to check the strength of your relationships. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. Okay. <laughs> we have a deal then. It seems like Igor has high expectations of me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fool persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Got another confidant, rank one. Uh, Wild Talk allows you to negotiate with shadows after performing a holdup. Uh, Arcana Burst. Earn bonus e uh, EXP when in when fusing personas based on their Arcana's confidant rank. All right. You unlock the full confidant. You have learned the ability of Wild Talk and Arcana Burst. Okay. P 
people you have formed a bond with have special confidant abilities. Your confidant rank indicates the strength of your trust with someone. As this rank increases, more of their confidant abilities will be unlocked. Press triangle to open the menu, then select confidant. From there, you can check each confidant's arcana, rank, and abilities. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Okay. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. <laughs> I think Caroline's the meaner of the two. Um, they're twins, but they have slightly different personalities. Uh, okay. A new day is Wednesday, Thursday. How annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on. Oh, that's An in the back with her friend, uh, Shio. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? <laughs> they get volleyballs cannonballed into their, their crotch. Morning time. Okay, listen up everyone. As you all know, today is the volleyball, volleyball rally. Head to the gymnasium once you've changed, got it? <laughs> okay, I don't know why they needed that one little short scene. acting like a king over here too <laughs> i i just want to say like how shitty it is that like the coach is just gonna like play these games and like show off and just basically take advantage of playing with like way like younger and inferior um kids it's just like it's like bullying you know like he's not playing a fair game he's not playing against like peers and like, he's an olympic level athlete apparently um know each other better my ass it's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. Mm. Well, anyways, now is our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Uh, where are you searching, Arisila? The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D, so let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? <laughs> Quick travel. You can use quick travel by bringing up the map with the R1 and selecting the location you want to move to. Okay, maybe we should do that. Should I? I think I can. Oh, can't you do that later? Oh, okay, okay. 
Um, let's bring up the... Oh, no, this is not... Oh, oh, so I did want to... You know, like, all the stuff with Igor and the um, prison. He's talking about this menu, the confidant. So this is where, like, all the people that we become friends or teammates with will show up as far as our confidant level. So, like, we've got um, Igor, who's ranked one, and we see, like, the stuff that he's, he's given us for rank one. Um, but we also have... Ryuji, so he's also rank one. So this is where like this will get like to be a really long list of people um, once we start meeting other people and getting them to join our cause. Um, so there's that. But let's do classroom. I'm guessing classroom. This is it. Ah, fast travel. That's actually fast. Like no loading screen. It's great. Love it. Uh, also love the music in this game, man. It's so great. Oh, what? look at him. Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Hey. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? Are you getting abused? Wait, how did you get injured? It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look. I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Are you afraid? I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Well, uh... I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Crap, if we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Uh, let's split up. I guess that'd be faster. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. Got it. 3C. So that means he's on the third floor. What are you guys talking about? Do you think Suzui-san's been acting strange lately? She's been sighing a lot. She used to be a lot happier when we were first years. Plus those bruises. I think she's in trouble. She's trying to become a volleyball starter, isn't she? I heard she takes private lessons with me with Mr. Kamoshida every day. Apparently she's been real. She's been a really good player ever since she was in middle school. Anyway, acting sad like that while keeping Mr. Kamoshida to herself is kind of arrogant, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Ugh. So that's Shiho, that's uh, An's friend that they're talking about. Um, three... Uh, should I listen? Let's get changed and head to karaoke. Should we invite that other guy? I think I saw him somewhere over there. He can't. He said he had to go to practice. Seriously? The volleyball team is something else. Uh... E? Wait, E? Ah, C. B. Wait, I do not get this, like, uh, numbering system. Wait, alright, let's just look. Uh... 2D. Building 1F. They, they, this map isn't super helpful. Alright, well... These are just... It's just off. Alright, let's go down. These are two... Yeah, these are... Two. Why would the, um... The threes wouldn't be on the first floor, would they? Yeah, they are. What the heck? Why? I don't understand that. Shouldn't the... Ugh, I don't know. Man, cleaning out the volleyball rally is gonna be such a goddamn pain. Eh, what do you want? You got something to say? Uh, how did you get hurt? It's from practice. Hey, I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student who's been hanging around with Sakamoto. Oh, I get it. You're trying to snoop on Mr. Kamoshida, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course our practices are going to be tough. Mr. Kamoshida is just, a dedicated, just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything um, Sakamoto says. You sure it's not abuse? As if. Hey, we should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and starts attacking us? 
Uh, I love how the, everyone's so threatened by our guy. He's not. He doesn't look like a thug at all. He looks like a like a library uh, aide. I heard he even carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? How's it going? Uh, he refused. Him too? Man, everyone's too freaked out about Kamoshida. But I still got a lead. A first year, new member. He just joined, so he might not be all wrapped up in Kamoshida's web of bullshit yet. Go ask around with the first year. See if you can find him. Uh, you can view messages you have received by pressing the tri- uh, um, square. Why did I say triangle? Uh, an icon appear any unread messages. Only the 50 most recent chat threads will be saved. Old chats will be automatically deleted, so don't forget to read them. Okay, we don't have any, have any messages. Okay, so we gotta talk to a first year. So I think I'm getting the sense of this. So the lower the floor, the higher the level. So first floor is third years, second floor is second years, and then third floor is first years, which is bonkers to me. Okay. Uh, I don't see anybody here. Let's talk to see what needs to do. Practice has uh, just been so hard. I haven't been getting any, huh? What do you want? You on the volleyball team? Huh? No, I'm not. Why? What's going on? <gasps> hey, isn't he, you know, the scary guy? <laughs> what? Why didn't you say so? I can't believe I talked to him. Oh, uh, never mind. I'm in a hurry, so I've got to go. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? Uh, what are those injuries? Uh oh, these? It, uh, it happened during practice. I mean, everyone on the team's got injuries like this. Uh, Mish Mishima Senpai has it especially bad though. He gets to deal with Mr. Kamashita's special coaching. Oh, uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Mishima? Please stop talking to me. Ask someone else if you want to know anything. Attention, attention. All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. Damn it, we're out of time. How'd it go? Uh, no good. So you don't have any luck. So you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard? Can I talk to you for a sec? Oh. Well, hello, on. I'm busy. <laughs> It'll be quick. I guess, you know, this isn't my first time playing through this game, so I almost, like, am curious what would happen with the other dialogue choices that I wouldn't normally pick. But at the same time, I, I just don't have the heart to be mean to, like, some of these characters. Anyway, what's with you? Like, how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Mm -hmm. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? You are very nice to him, uh... Ah, we just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Mishima. Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you, too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. 
What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Uh-oh. Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Uh-oh, Ryuji, don't stir the pot well, here. Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from the school for sure. Bastard. <laughs> Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? I didn't say anything. You have an amazing spike. <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. Principal, our parents, they all know and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. Poor guy. Uh, what now? I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Let's get yelled at by oh. I thought he was gonna uh, we we're gonna have a scene with the the cafe owner yelling at us some more. I'm worn out from all the stuff that happened today. I should probably head to sleep soon. Um I guess there's nothing really we can do here, we're just examining so, alright, alright. Hey, this don't make any damn sense. The principal and even the parents know about the abuse. Why ain't anybody speaking up? Because volleyball, they're afraid of Kamashita. That can't be the only thing keeping both the principal and the parents quiet, though. It's basically because Kamashita made the volleyball team famous, yeah? Even so, that don't give him the right to do whatever he wants. He's beating kids up, and all they're allowed to do is endure. And that follower of his doesn't give one single S. <laughs> Who are you talking about? On Takamaki. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know her, I mean, she's in your class, dude. Ugh, what a load of bull. <laughs> Can't let it end like this. I'm gonna try and find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamoshido during break tomorrow. Just you watch, I ain't giving up. Let's go to bed. I'm beat from running around all day. <laughs> Sleep. Now, are we gonna go back to the prison yet again? Oh no, we get the uh, the day passing. All right, Thursday the 14th. Did you see Mr. Kamoshito play yesterday? He was so awesome. I think I might ask for his autograph after school. I don't know if it's such a good idea. I hear that you shouldn't go near the PE faculty office. People say you can hear weird sounds like screaming even though no one's there. What? What? It's probably just another rumor spread by fans to scare the competition. Afternoon. So, about witnesses, I was wondering if we could get something out of Takamaki. Since she's with Ko uh, Kamoshida? No, that ain't why. You know how we didn't get a thing out of the vo volleyball team? I 
I figure it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Takamaki's BFF with a starter, a girl named Suzui. I tried to talk to that girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Takamaki talk to her. Then again, I guess it'll be harder uh, getting her to help us. Sorry, let me see what else I can come up with. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah oh. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. That girl's gonna crack under the pressure, man. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Jeez. Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. Whoa. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Uh, are you hurt? Don't worry about it. I'm sorry, too. Are you hurt? Huh? Um, well... Hmm. You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Um, they don't bother me. I'm glad to hear that. My best friend is often misunderstood, too. All because of her looks. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Uh, we have to help her. She's so nice. Damn it! What the hell? <laughs> oh, Ryuji. Did you find someone? What it looks like? Hey! All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. Uh, there's no point to that. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Uh, she called the cops. How about a sneak attack? What? So you want to tell them about the castle? They never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? Uh, sneak attack. Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? What do we do? Uh, let's punish the king. The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to- I finally found you! <laughs> you say something. Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice. Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day? <laughs> the cat's talking? <sighs> I am not a cat. This is just what happened when I came to this world. That means you're a cat, it dude. It's a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait. You came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? <laughs> you don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can't you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this, too? Uh, we must be hallucinating. 
Meow. <laughs> this is no time to be joking around. <laughs> you guys are having a rough time of this. Mm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up. You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. <laughs> you were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? God, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. <laughs> meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. Oh. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... Don't, don't be so rough with the cat. Don't be so rough with me. Yeah, see? Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... His desires would go too. He'd become an honest man. Huh? Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. <laughs> so, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Alex running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Uh, you're right. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? Uh, I don't want to kill him. No, of course not. Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. This doesn't make it okay. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. There you go. Uh, isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here.
All right, we're kind of learning uh, some... Uh... Yo, some of the guys in my class have been talking about that Suzui girl. Looks like rumors are going around about her and Kamoshida. If they're true, it's no wonder I couldn't get her to talk. Still, something about that doesn't seem right. Um, what do you mean? It's just impossible. I've known Takamaki and Suzui since middle school. There's just no way Kamoshida's their type, you know? So, I gotta wonder where those rumors come, came from. I guess we'll get to it tomorrow. See ya. I wonder what the other students are saying. I should go in and... I should listen in as I go home. Takamaki always looks kind of unhappy whenever Mr. Kamoshida talks to her. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to him at the schools to show off how she's got him wrapped around her finger. Ugh, gross. Oh, so that's what's going on. I wonder how far they've gone together. Hmm. Mm. Going over there. Mm. People over here. I saw that new transfer student hang out with Sakamako. Two of them are so scary. He doesn't look like the kind of guy who would have a criminal record. Maybe he's one of those. You know, the people in those accidents maybe he suddenly freaks out and attacks people. Huh? I don't think so. He's just be been coming to school. Actually, he almost seems normal. And from what I hear, after you have a psychotic breakdown, you go brain dead and die right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sakamoto has been asking questions about the volleyball team. Just who does he think he is? The volleyball team's never going to tell him anything. They're all completely loyal to Kamoshida. Well, if Kamoshida likes them, their future is pretty much set. Of course they'd back him up. Speaking of which, I hear Kamoshida's new favorite girl is someone named Suzui. Oh, uh, the girl who was chosen to be a regular? Ah, her face was all swollen. It looks pretty bad. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, Obediently return home. <laughs> oh, wait. Man, she even looks hot in a jersey. I wonder if I have a shot with her. You really want Kamashita's leftovers? I like the girl with the ponytail better. Oh, you mean from the volleyball team? I guess I kind of get you. There's also a really cute first year with a ponytail, though. Why not her? Wait, there was a girl like that? I didn't look at all. <laughs> I'm so traumatized from the video of that accident. I've been afraid of riding a trade ever since. There have been similar accidents before, right? What happens if you get a psychotic breakdown? Well, out of nowhere, you go crazy and violent, and then you suddenly pass out. At the very end, you die in a lot of pain. That's what I hear. You die, or you're as good as dead. Okay, is that it? Whew, we just made it in. Okay, let's see. Where can we... Oh, camera changed angles here. Um... Students? How can you think it's all a coincidence that the same thing keeps happening again and again? The train derailing the other day was horrific. If you ask me, it looked like a t an act of terrorism. Maybe it's a conspiracy. Another country attacking us. You think they're using mind control? If it was mind control, they're messing it up. Those people end up going brain dead, don't they? Um, down here. Station Square? Oh. Will you please give it a rest? I told you, I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, uh. Aww. Shiho's starting position. Wait, were you listening? Uh, not on purpose. Haven't you heard of privacy? Uh, no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? Um, uh, something about a friend. She helped. It's nothing at all. Nothing. Uh, 
Oh man, I wonder what happened. I should follow her. Uh, that feels a little creepy that we're just gonna run after her like this. Okay. Oh, there she goes. Slow down, girl. Pursue on. Um, where is she? She is. Oh, there she is. Hey. Stop following me. Just leave me alone. Um. Are you okay? Why? Why do you keep worrying about me? Huh? Uh. Let's go somewhere safe. That sounds a little creepy too. What the heck? I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. Well, why did you come with me to this place? It was just an argument. Kamashita. It seems like she's really stressed out. Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamashita. And everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. And that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, she owes my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. I barely even talked to you before. Um, maybe that's why. Sorry for putting in. <laughs> you might be right. You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. I'm bad to the phone. <laughs> uh, that you assaulted someone. That you almost killed them. Kind of had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Uh, see, this is the kind of stuff, like, so you do um, get a chance to re romance uh, several characters later, um, and you get to choose, so that's kind of a cool thing about this game. You can uh, kind of go after different people, and I think this is what the big appeal towards On is, is, like, she's, obviously she's, like, the hot girl, but, like, there's more depth to her, and, like, it's stuff like this, like, where you can relate your main character to her, like, you guys are kind of outsiders, and um, there's a connection through that. Really, no way for me to help Shio. I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. Um, it could happen. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Okay. Good talk. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Suzui. Are you leaving? 
What is it? Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. <laughs> On. Oh, uh, she didn't answer. You're late. Where have you been? Uh, trains were delayed. I got lost. Uh, is that supposed to be an excuse? How directionally challenged can you be? By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Well, um, hmm. don't worry. I hope I don't have to. Listen. You need to be careful who you hang with. The only one you're gonna hurt is yourself. Ooh, look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Okay, hey, bye. Bye. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? How late were we? Well, I guess we were hanging out with On at a restaurant or a cafe or whatever it was. So, what do you think about the, what Morgana told us? I don't know if I can get all that stuff about stealing desires. And Kamashita's gonna turn like brain dead if we mess up, right? I mean, I'm sure pissed at him. I mean, sure, I'm pissed at him. But I don't know if I really want to kill the guy. Yeah, that's too much. He deserves it. No, I'm not sure what to do. For sure. I mean, maybe I'm just freaking out, but I don't want to end up a murderer because of this shit. Oh well. I'll try and see if I can come up with some other way tonight. Yeah, and, um, I'm not holding my breath for Ryuji to get any great ideas. <laughs> uh, stealing Kamashita's distorted desires. Can we really do it? Anyway, I should get some sleep. Alright. I mean, seems like we know what's gonna happen. What, what do we gotta do? I can't believe Suzui Senpai missed such an important meeting. I wonder what happened. Mr. Kamashita asked to see her. I've heard rumors about how the two of them stayed late together. I wonder what's going on. You don't think they're... Nah, it couldn't be. And it's been nothing but bad news lately. I'm worried about the future. Oh, that reminds me. Apparently a guest is coming to school today. Some young guy, I think. Oh, tell me more. <gasps> is that... Is that Makoto in the back over there? You'll meet her later. So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? Oh! No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. Why are you in there? Hmm, did I just hear a cat just now? <laughs> mm, mm, meow! Well, don't meow louder. Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? <laughs> Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. It's no use, I can't think of any other way. Uh, concentrate on class! I can't deal with that shit right now. I mean, we're, what are we gonna do about Kamashita? Do we just gotta go along with what that cat says? Ugh, the damn furball. <laughs> if you only knew, I'm reading this too. <laughs> uh, hey, what's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait, she's going to jump! Suzui? She <gasps> For real? Come on, Who let's go. It? Hey, stay in your seats. Do not step foot outside of this room. No way. Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui. She has Suzui. Huh? Suzui, hey, son. Let's go look. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh my god. Back to your seat. So why? Oh man. Hey, what's going on? We should head to the courtyard too. Uh. Hmm? Hey, did you see her fall? I wonder if she's okay. Yeah, I saw it. After falling from that height, she must be seriously hurt or worse. I mean, how do we get to the courtyard? Let's go downstairs. Hmm? The, the hell is this? There's no way we're gonna get past all these goddamn people. Come on, let's try going through the practice building. Which way is the practice building? Through, man, please. Uh, map. Okay, there we go. Oh. Hey, is she dead? Where's the ambulance? No, she won't die from that low height. I'm sure she'll be fine. It's Makoto. Ah, uh, what a bother! You get to the stu get the students back to their classroom. I'm going to the faculty office. I'd better warn everyone not to go online and talk about this too. <laughs> Diligent looking students. Uh, what? Um, but who's gonna explain the situation to the paramedics? And what about tending to the victim? There are more important matters to address. That's right. Class is still in session. Shio. What the hell's wrong with these people? We need someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. Well, we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. Oh my gosh. I'll go. Please hurry. Shio. Why? Mon? I'm sorry. I can't take this anymore. Shio. Kamoshida? Uh. No! Shio! Oh. Volleyball team. Return to your classrooms at once! That guy. Hey. Wasn't Mishima acting weird? He knows something. We're gonna make him talk this time. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. Ah, that hurts. Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself. Leave me alone. Just tell us. He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Susui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times too. To the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood and hit them. Oh. So the physical punishment thing was for real. Yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been worse than usual. He didn't. That son of a bitch! Uh. uh oh. Yuji? I bet. Sakamoto's going to find Mr. Kamashita. Mr. Uh, Kamashita's probably in the PE faculty office on the second floor. Uh, okay. Let's go upstairs. Oh, I see him. He went into the PE faculty office. Let's hurry. We have to go after him. Got it. Huh? 
You bastard! The hell did you do to that girl? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me! That is enough! What you did was in coaching. What did you say? You... You ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from the hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? Jeez. There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. You goddamn... This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! Why are you stopping me? Um... Calm down. But still! Oh? You're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can't. <laughs> but of course you can't. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. Uh-oh. You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. Ah, uh, crap. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this. Ah, uh, to eat his words. Huh? Oh, right. We have that. Huh? Have you lost your mind? You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. Welp. Sure. We can't waste got any time. To a pickle here. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? There's no other way. There you have it. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? <laughs> Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida? Let me in on it too. You can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! <sighs> that was harsh. Yeah, why not let her... take her somewhere like that. Oh, that's I hope true. she doesn't do anything too crazy. Women can be much bolder than men at times. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already.
The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Huh? Phantom thieves? Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. Uh, not bad. <laughs> oh, that sounds kind of cool. <laughs> so we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. Then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? Of course. <laughs> That's kind of creepy, but, uh, eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. Let's go. They really are going to do something. They're doing something on their phone? The name... School? Huh? Oh boy. She's caught in it. Alright, time to bust on through. What is this? Sakamaki? That voice... Sakamoto? And are you... Juice-kun. <laughs> Why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? <laughs> I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave! No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It talked! Oh my god, it's a monster cat! <laughs> monster? <laughs> you better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. That's how it worked last time, right? Oh, oh yeah. Can you lend me a hand? Uh, I feel bad. We can't deal with Kamoshida if we don't. What are you? We'll explain after everything's over. Hey! And just where are you touching? Ah. Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean that's not important. <laughs> you guys, seriously? <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up. <laughs> ah, jeez. Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. <laughs> the shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves, got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Joker? Not a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. Uh, not bad. It's settled then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... let's see... thug. Are you picking a fight with me? Yeah, I'll choose it myself! <laughs> When it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. Honestly, I actually kinda like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull, then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? What do you think? How about Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. All right, from here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. 
Alright. Alright. Time to go steal this treasure thing. Let's make a dash for it. If you hold R2 while moving, you'll be able to dash. This helps you traverse a palace quickly, but be careful while dashing, you will be more easily spotted by enemies. Dashing? Oh, yeah, 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 we're gonna run fast. Okay, so we are at an hour, and I was thinking I'd do like hour and a half episodes, but this is a pretty good stopping point, um, because we're about to dive into like a pretty big palace, um, and it might feel like a good fresh start for an episode. So why don't we cut it short here? Oh, we should save also. This. Um, Cause a lot happened, man. Um, save complete. Okay, yeah. Kamashita's palace playtime, four hours, eighteen minutes. All right, yeah. So why don't we stop here? We'll pick this up. Ooh, look at the city over there. Um, yeah, we'll pick this up right where we're, uh, we're leaving it off, and we'll invade the palace and try and steal Kamashita's heart and uh, see what happens next. So thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.